How many times do I have to say it? Stop asking Matt Reeves about Batman while he's promoting War for the Planet of the Apes! Jesus! <sighs> but oh my god, did you hear what he had to say? Just kidding! But yeah, that's what my timeline was kind of like. A lot of people going, stop asking him about this, but then everybody's going, oh my god, did you hear what he had to say? Yes! It's kind of difficult to ignore what he had to say about Batman because we're all nerdy motherfuckers. By the way, Zack Snyder posted this image right here. Just one of the best shots of Batman ever caught live action. Jesus Christ. The guy's a madman. The guy gave us the Batman that we just, yeah, that we only saw in the comic books in our heads in the video game. Not shitting on any of the other Batmans. I mean, nipples or not, those are still good Batmans, I guess, but you know. But yes, Matt Reeves, of course, did answer the question because the douchebag, you know, he's, I'm not even going to link the video or anything and I'm not even going to put it behind me. I'm not going to give the guy the satisfaction, but he was just like, mm, yeah, let's get another question. Not about playing, but about Batman. It's like, fuck you. New trailer buzz. But this is what he had to say. There's a chance to do an almost noir-driven detective version of Batman that is a point of view driven in a very, very powerful way that will hopefully connect to what's going on inside his head and inside his heart. Yes, that sounds awesome. The fact of the matter is, we have probably the best director that could tackle this. Matt Reeves is a big Batman fan. He was a big Planet of the Apes fan, and look what he did. Now, I haven't even seen more for the Planet of the Apes yet, but it's getting crazy good reviews. People are saying that it's a masterpiece. I mean, Dawn of the Planet of the Apes was just wowed me to my core. I mean, I couldn't believe that I was just, I walked out just, whoa, and I'm sure that's going to be the same thing for war. And it's just, oh, I think they just, they picked, ah. And there's still assholes, there's still assholes out there. Burp, run on film. They're still claiming that, oh yeah, that doesn't confirm anything. No, no, it doesn't confirm. Not at all. We still might be out. Hmm. I don't get why a website that loves Batman on film just don't like this version of Batman. I I, I mean, I, I, I can't understand it. Somehow, somehow one of the guys ended up on, like, in my timeline. I don't know how he did. Oh, no, that's right. I actually commented. I asked him how, sig how those significant Justice League reshoots were going. <laughs> And then he just said something like, yeah, there's something perfectly normal about a, a new director coming in and they're firing the composer and a new one. And I was like, yeah, I hope there's uh, nothing normal about what happened to the original director of Justice League. I hope that's not going to be normal, you dick. I don't understand it. I mean, these guys just, it's weird. I, I just can't, especially with Matt Reeves and Matt Reeves, I mean... This guy is like, he's going to be the next, like, almost like up there with Christopher Nolan, man. That's what it's looking like. And why the fuck would Ben Affleck not want to work with this guy? Okay, especially since he helped get the script going with Jeff Johns. They have something special going, and then they got Matt Reeves coming in. This could potentially be the best Batman movie that we've ever seen. Why would he not be a part of that, especially since Affleck has been a Batman fan since he was a kid? There's just, I'm sorry. I, these guys, I don't, I don't understand that. But anyways, yes, these interviewers and people are gonna keep on asking Matt Reeves about Batman. It's you can't stop it. Like I said in my video last night, it, it, it's almost like they think they're gonna get some kind of inside scoop. Like Matt Reeves gonna be like, "Well, guess what? There's gonna be a scene with the Joker, Jason Todd, and fucking Red Hood." Shut up! It's not gonna happen. Let the guy promote his movie now. He even says it in this. You can tell he's a little annoyed in this too. He's like, "I just finished this this film ten days ago." That's what he said. And we just begun. Yes, they just begun. Stop asking him. But it's gonna keep on happening, guys. But. I mean, it's good to hear that. We want to hear a noir-driven detective story. We haven't, we didn't really get that with the Nolan Batman. It was more like, I always said it was more like a cop drama and a mob drama. Like, the first one was more mob. The second one seemed like more cop. But it's more like it was a mob dra drama surrounded by a dude dressed like a bat. That's the way I looked at it. Dark Knight Rises was something else. And it was the weaker one of the trilogy, for sure. Like, I, I just, it, there's just something about Rises that just seems so half-assed to me. I don't know why. And it, and it's Nolan. I think, out of all the Nolan movies, I think Rises is his weakest out of all his movies. I honestly think that. It just seemed like he just, 
he was contracted to do it. He probably didn't want to. Maybe after Ledger died, and he just kind of—I don't know. It just—it just seems half-assed to me. It doesn't seem full potential for Nolan. I don't know. There's—I'm not saying that it's a bad movie. I still enjoy it, but it's just—it just seems like his weakest movie to me, at least. But anyways, guys, there you go. Just wanted to gripe about that, but I mean, it does sound good. Yes, yes, it does. I got a little bit—I got a little bit of a Woody when he was talking about that. I, I will admit that, but. Just wish these assholes. I mean, I wish I could interview Matt Reeves and and just talk about Planet of the Apes. Show these guys that you just do like that. Anyways, let me know your thoughts about it down below in the balls area, guys. What do you think about all this? And uh, please hit that like, thumbs up button if you'd be so kind. Subscribe to this channel. Subscribe to the other channel too. Follow me on the social media stuff that is right above my head. Stop it. All right, guys. Talk to you later.